Okay guys, so I lied and we actually aren't going to contour your stuff yet. We need to blur or smudge our hair so it looks a little more cartoony and not so pixelated. But before we do that, you are potentially going to do something to your face that you don't like. So we need a backup of this so then you don't have to go through liquefying it all again. So your face layer here, if you'll just do a little command J, have a copy of it, and just take that copy and bring it down here with all these other guys that are just hanging out. That will just give you an extra set of hair, basically, if you ruin what we've got. So we're gonna come back here to our face, and we're gonna use a new tool that we haven't used yet, and that is our smudge tool. Your smudge tool is found not in your paint bucket, but the little icon that's directly below it. And for me, it looks like a finger pointing, like I'm getting ready to smudge dirty fingerprints all over your computer screen. So when you choose your smudge tool, it is going to do exactly what it says. And we are going to kind of take these colors and just push them around with an imaginary finger. But we want to control how that finger is shaped. So we're going to come up into where our brush palette would be, but we're not in the paint brushes, we're in smudge. And we're going to use any of these little default kind of scattery, speckly looking brushes right here. Does not matter which size you grab because you're still just going to come back out here anyway and you're going to control it. So we don't want it to be really big because then your stuff's going to go everywhere. Oh, that looks terrible. And it's really laggy. Whoop. And we don't want it to be really small because you're going to do a whole lot of work for nothing. So just got to find kind of happy medium ground. And you're going to start doing these pulls. And you're going to pull in the direction that the hair travels. And as you do that, it doesn't necessarily blur your hair, but it just kind of swirls and smushes it all around. Now you do have to be careful on the edges. We do want to blur any little hairs and stuff that are sticking out, but we want to, excuse me, blur, smudge them. We want to smudge them with purpose though. So as you watch my mouse kind of track around, you'll see I'm getting these edges going in the direction the hair would be traveling if it was actually growing out of his head. Now I am doing a lot of clicking and a lot of pulling so this is another reason why we have this little backup copy down here. Now be careful on your skin because this will make your skin potentially look really weird. So when you get on your bangs, you can still do them just don't go like all crazy through your face. Just make sure you're staying near the hairline. Didn't get all the way down over here, so I'm gonna fix that. There we go. That gives that a lot softer of an appearance. So it's not gonna be such a total change of view for our eyes because we're going to see all the silliness down here but then we would have like really pixelated hair so just like comparing the two like that looks so much nicer to the eye now another thing you can do to your face if you want is your eyebrows when you do your eyebrows you got to control that thing so it's not bigger than the eyebrow when you do the eyebrow, if you decide to, it's just one smooth swoop. And make sure you're following, again, the path that that hair grows. And when you zoom out, it doesn't look as aggressive as when you're zoomed in. Now, I did miss a couple little hairs, so I might come in here and just kind of get those traveling that same direction too. But we've got kind of some skin mixed in, right? Because eyebrows aren't as bushy as our head on our hair on our head. So I have to be a little careful down here. I'm going to mix in too much skin tone. All right, so that is our hair. We use the smudge tool. The smudge tool moves colors around and we used it with one of these speckly brushes here just to kind of still give it kind of some stringiness to it. Now, last thing we can do is we can take our face and we can enlarge it even more because we've got a layer for it, right? So I'm going to do a little Command-T, 
And if you would like to make your face a little bit bigger, not like, ah, not like super big, just a little bit bigger than maybe it was, and maybe even rotate a little bit. Not like a dog like that can't understand what you're saying, but just maybe just like a tiny little twist just to give it a fun appearance. That's going to then open the door for us to do some cool things on our neck here in a second. So save this, and now we will go in and contour your person's face.